some time ago I made a video about the Odyssey G9 monitor how to upgrade it and to walk through the settings uh, I had a lot of positive feedback about it and I decided to make a new one I still don't have any uh, professional equipment so I pardon the camera and the movements and everything but I tried my best to help you guys I'm going to post a link to this website where you can download the uh, the ROM file and you place it in a USB drive so the website you can see check the update file check the version if it's the new one download it when you've downloaded it then you put it on an empty USB drive then in the screen in the left back of the screen you need to pull the screen apart to place the USB drive but I already have it tucked in as you can see it's in the outer port so when you sit in your chair the port that's farthest away from you in there you put it and it's really nice if you just get one and you keep it in because if you keep it in and you attach the uh, a USB cable from your monitor then you can simply uh, keep it attached and when there's a new update file I'll just simply um, attach the cable to my computer then I can up update it of that can I place a file and then I'm gonna detach the cable and then the USB is so low on the screen again so as you can see I'm starting to find the update files and uh, I've already installed this one so uh, you get the message that uh, there is no new version on this drive which is correct um, so if you do have an upgrade then it will show you that there's an upgrade but I've already installed it so for the settings of the screen itself it's very much personal but I walk you through my settings so re refresh rate should always be 240 um, if you don't have a proper display port output on your computer or you have not connected the display port then you won't be able to do so <coughs> uh, probably 120 Hertz will be the maximum um, so the lighting I, I just like uh, because it's possible just on uh, rainbow lights in the back you don't see it anyway so it doesn't do much just a fancy touch local dimming is for the HDR you can keep it at automatic because we will put HDR uh, off in Windows because Windows doesn't work well with HDR but if you keep it in auto then some games that do work with HDR they look a lot more brighter and better so if you have an application that benefits from HDR it will work when you place it at auto uh, rest of the settings you can see is pretty uh, standard now I came uh, I came a Across this VRR control and honestly it's a new feature I think because I haven't seen it before um, so I just did what I normally do first I'm gonna put it on see if there's any visual change at this point but it says it's a gaming option so if I'm not gaming I would not see any different difference so usually at that point I decide to search it but uh, yeah check the settings adaptive sync is on low input lag on black equalizer on 13 and that's personal well VRR control like I said open the browser So what it is is a variable refresh rate for your uh, games. 
so it allows your display when it's set to 240 Hertz to be variable if the game only produces 200 uh, frames per second then the screen might set its refresh rate refresh rate to 200 Hertz um, well it it is in here I have not really used it yet so I turn it on right now and let's see how it goes I don't think there's much difference well here you can see I like the scaling to 100% the right resolution and check if it's set to 240 uh, the settings you see are in Dutch but uh, in English they will be on the same spot so you can switch displays if you have multiple displays you can also see HDR is off I'm gonna turn it on and you will see that the white is really white it's really bright uh, the video doesn't show very much but um, you 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 the white will be very white and other things will be very dark it it's it, windows this does not operate well with HDR so just turn it off uh, and when you go play a video game uh, with HDR then it looks awesome but don't use it in windows uh, you can uh, put separate settings for different kinds of applications over there then we have the Nvidia uh, settings as well oh let me adjust the camera so 3d settings I've basically not changed a lot a lot I'll just go through it um, it's in Dutch but mostly you will uh, notice it so there's a max frame rate as you can see there I'm turning it off you can put it to 240 but I think it's best if your computer provides you with 400 frames and your display only shows 240 I feel it's smooth, smoother when uh, that way than when the computer says I'm kept to 240 and uh, displays 240 for some reason uh, yeah so monitor, monitor technology to G-Sync and as, as well here you can change uh, for the applications you can change it however you want but I normally put the most to default also here the physics processor well you can select the 3090 over there but with automatic it, it will just always use the 30, 3090 so your video card so it's no, no problem um, here you can set the resolution well there's only one proper resolution for this display uh, you can use a 3840 but well you'll use scaling and I wouldn't advise scaling very much but make sure all your displays have the best uh, uh, frequency of refreshment refresh rate then over here yet again I don't change anything I think the most uh, most settings are just good as they are the screen just looks splendid from itself uh, here's a setting here I've changed some settings because uh, I like Windows to give me the resolution and the display just needs to uh, give the right display settings so uh, I just play a lot a bit but I don't want any scaling because if you use scaling then well it needs to process so I'm putting scaling off on all of, all of my monitors I do not want any scaling and uh, you shouldn't see any difference only thing is if you take the resolution 3840 then you'll have black bars around your screen right now because scaling is off but if you don't use scaling then you are certain you always have the proper resolution for your display so this is set up right G-Sync I use it for full screen mode but also for window mode because it's just better to put G-Sync on uh, well you can place the displays how you want them this is how they are at my place and again here well we just don't change anything I 
I haven't seen that option before. So I was just uh, checking out what it does. Well, this is about it. So we have the settings of the display. Then yet again to the website. Uh, this is my monitor, but there are different kinds. You have the Neo G9, etc., but they will work the same. Um, just pay attention. You can also install the device on your Windows. I don't know if it does anything because it's old software. But there's two upgrade files as you can see. Check the dates, check the versions. Make sure you install the latest version and upgrade the display using the menu and use the USB tooling I've provided. So that's about it. Well, thank you guys for watching again. I hope this helped you guys and if you liked the video help me with subscribing or liking the video and I'll try my best to get a more professional camera later on. Thank you guys.